This is a Jalili Studio product called Maker Paper, and it is similar to freezer paper in that it has a plastic coating on one side. Um, the sheets are thicker than freezer paper. They're three times thicker, so it'll give you a nice sturdy template that won't fold or bend when you're using it. Okay, so I have two sheets of Maker Paper here, and you can see that you can see through it, so I like, I like being able to see through it, so I, I left the Maker Paper thin enough that you could see through to trace your, your uh, template that you're trying to make. And then I'll layer two layers together because I want it a little heavier and then press it. I have my iron um, with no steam so that I don't uh, wrinkle my paper. And then just fuse these together. I've got, uh, I placed them on the ironing surface, both with the shiny side facing down. So the shiny side was down, then I pressed them together, and you can see that this maker paper is nice. It doesn't wrinkle or, or pucker. And then once I've got the two layers fused together, I just peel it off of my ironing surface. Then I'm going to cut this out. And here's my little piece of fabric that I want to make this leaf out of. I'm going to place the template on the wrong side of the fabric and press with my iron until it fuses. It's just a few seconds, and it's going to fuse to it. Just a temporary bond. Then I cut out around it, using the template as a guide, but cutting about a quarter inch away. And this is a generous quarter inch. This One of the big mistakes that people make when they try this method is to make their seam allowance too small. Make it nice and generous, because that makes it easy to turn. And then I have in this little container some spray starch. So just regular old spray starch. You can use any um, pressing agent and just press it, in, uh, press it. Just spray it into your container. It will foam up if it's got uh, no liquid in it. It's gonna foam up because it's got air in it. But the air will fall out and then it'll just look like water, okay? Then I've got a little starch brush here. This is my Jalili Studio starch brush. And that, um, it, because of how the bristles, bristles are put together, it holds a lot of liquid and it allows you to paint your seam allowance with that liquid. And, um, and that gets that just the seam allowance wet. I don't want to wet the template. I've, I've placed it on the outside edge of the seam allowance so that it'll just kind of move into the center as the moisture moves. Then I use, this is my little Jalili Studio Quilters um, Digit. And what it is is an extra finger for you not to get burned. So you place that on the center, take your iron and push this edge right up over. And you see how I'm just kind of easing that fabric up over the edge of the template. Side. Turn it over, press from the top so that you have a nice You've made sure you've dried all of the starch and you've got a nice crisp edge. 